Let's talk about the three types of communication and how you can use them most effectively. The first type of communication is verbal. Verbal messages are spoken out loud and heard by others. Examples include phone calls and in-person conversations. With verbal communication, you'll want to, one, speak slowly and confidently. Remember, this is your message. Make sure it's heard. Two, stay on topic. By staying on track, you'll help to make sure your listeners leave with the right takeaway. And three, Pay attention to the tone of your voice. Your meaning will change depending on your volume, inflection, and sound. Do your best to make sure your tone matches your message. The second type of communication is nonverbal. Nonverbal messages are wordless and seen by others. Examples include your body language and facial expressions. With nonverbal communication, you'll want to be aware of your nonverbal cues. It can be easy to forget about our nonverbal cues. Make sure your facial expressions and body language align with your intentions. That way, you're less likely to give the wrong impression. You'll also want to pair your gestures with words. That will help prevent ambiguity and keep your message extra clear. Finally, practice open, friendly body language. That will help to show attentiveness, interest, and confidence. The third type of communication is written. Written messages are text-based and read by others. Examples include emails and letters. With written communication, you'll want to plan before you write. That will help keep your writing structured and easy to follow. You also will want to keep your message clear and concise. Your receiver should be able to quickly understand why you're sending this message. Finally, Make sure you use proper grammar, spelling, and punctuation. If you don't proofread your work, you could ruin the credibility of your written message. Follow these tips for effective verbal, nonverbal, and written communication. And it's more likely your messages will be heard, seen, and read.